Hello friends, this is Father Frank Pavone, National Director of Priests for Life, continuing our reflections on praying to end abortion. For whom do we pray? Along with the baby, the mother, when we pray to end abortion, we're praying also for the father of that child. How important the father is in the outcome of the abortion decision. You know, half of those who have abortions say that the reason they did so was that they did not want to be a single parent or that they were having problems with their partner or their husband. Although the law doesn't give the father the legal right to say no to the abortion, reality does. His role is so important, and we pray that fathers will have the grace to avoid the mistake of standing back and saying to the mother of the child, it's your choice, it's your decision. He may think that that's the right thing to say, but then that makes her feel all the more alone all the more abandoned with the weight of this decision on her own shoulders, and therefore all the more tempted to abort. It's a vicious circle. If instead the man stands with her and says, I will help you and our child, if he makes himself part of the equation psychologically and spiritually, just like he already is physically, then there's less chance of that child getting killed by the abortionist knife. Let's pray that fathers will be men. Let's pray that they will have the grace and strength to stop that abortion from happening. Thanks, and keep praying to end abortion. And join our Facebook cause, Pray to End Abortion. You can reach it easily at the domain prolifeprayers.com. God bless you.